stuck now. Right, let's get these casted out. Um, you can see where the water's pushed this straw up. It was further down the beach, weren't it? But now it's up there. So let's get these casted out. Water's at the stones. There's no mud in front of me now. And uh, I've tried to warm my hands up, but they're still chilly. But let's try. And the battery's dead already. Cast the other one the other way. Well, I can honestly say I have filmed. Oh, it is bitterly cold, absolutely bitter. But I've recorded nine minutes of footage. Nine minutes, and the batteries run out. And uh, yeah, I'm having trouble with the batteries. But I think it's the cold. Now it is bitterly cold, absolutely bitter. And. Uh, so it's got to be down to the cold, hasn't it? So uh, that ain't going to be good because it takes longer than five minutes, nine minutes, ten minutes to re recharge a battery. So hopefully that was the dicky battery and the rest of them will be a lot better because I've got it on charge now because I now bring my power pack and me charging. So let's hope it lasts a lot longer. That's all I'm going to say. Now we've got both rods are out. We've got yellowtail on both. We're fishing with a two at flapper, uh, one or one o hooks, I think, bait holder hooks. Fingers are frozen. It's just the way the wind's blowing, really, and it's just brought the cold in, hasn't it? Um, two days ago, three days ago, it was quite warm. It was lovely, but yeah, this weather, this wind has turned around from southwest, west, south, southwest, or southwest west or west or whatever it was it was in that direction in it so now it's blowing north northeast um northeast and i think tomorrow it might blow um northwest or summer i don't know but i ain't gonna be here tomorrow so it don't matter but at the minute it is bitly cold it bites through you now my legs are lovely and warm in my reed thermals they are absolutely roast well let's not say they're roasty but my legs are warm. It's the first time I've ever noticed my legs warm. And when the wind hits my trousers, it's not transferring through to my skin, which is good. So that's a good thing. Um, I haven't got the reeds top on because it was too tight round my neck. Now don't laugh, don't laugh. Too tight round your neck, Vern. More like too tight round your fat belly. No, it ain't too tight round my fat belly. Yes, it was on my belly but they are meant to be skin tight. They are meant to touch your skin because they wick sweat away. Ooh, what a disgusting thing to say. But yeah, that's what it's meant for. It was too tight round my neck and it was too tight on my arms. So I'm sending that back tomorrow and uh, for the next size up. And I'm not gonna tell you what size it is. What a thing to ask a lady. I don't know. Anyhow, reed bottoms are fantastic. I'm sure the top will be as well when I get it. And uh, I'll be roosty toasty. But yeah, I see I've got a chill there. Now I've got the heated jacket on as well. It is bitter. They said it feels like two degrees, but I think it's bloody colder than that. So, uh, but there, main thing is, 
Yeah, it don't matter about me being cold on this bank, fishing through till probably about half one in the morning, and I've got work the next day, which is tomorrow, at half past six I need to get up. So half one, I might be on for half one, probably two o'clock. That don't give me much sleep, does it? And then I've got to clean my gear in the morning when I come home from work, and I've got to go measure up a house for carpets, which is my daughter's house. So I've got to make sure I do that and do some work on my, my other daughter's house. And I've got two hatches to put in the wall. So I've got to start, get that finished. So yeah, I'm going to be busy tomorrow. Invoice is nearly done. Hopefully get printed up tomorrow and sent. So I might get some money, so. But the good thing is, my gaffer's rang me up and he says I've got another house to do on the 3rd or 6th of March. So I'm not going to let it take over my life, this one. I'm going to do it. I've got to fit carpets in my daughter's house as well. Busy time for me with a poor rip. It's not good, but it'll all be done. Um, get the carpets done. Laminate done. Tom will be able to help me with the laminate. Once I show him what to do and stuff, we'll be able to do it together and he might even be able to take over and I'll carry on with the carpets or do the vinyls, so all good there. What else is there to say? Well, I need to turn this GoPro off and put this hat on it to keep it warm. Do the best I can. So uh, it's not good when the batteries die on you, especially after nine minutes. That's got to be the worst it's ever been. Bloody rubbish it is. I've turned everything off on the GoPro as well that use power but i still think there's things going on in that gopro that it's still switched on because when you put the battery in the light flashes up and sometimes it nearly turns itself on but i don't know what's going on there but i've turned everything all the voice control and everything where you just shout go gopro on or whatever it is because that's a pain in the ass and it eats your batteries and here i shall bring you back when i reel these rods in i'm going to watch them like a hawk let's hopefully we catch a cod because I doubt if there's any flounders out there for me. I've got my worms there. I baited up the three worms that I brought that I've kept alive for a week and they went on the hooks perfect. Shame to kill them after all that, but they had an extra week's life, didn't they? In fresh water every day, so they did all right. And I'll see you in a bit. When I come back, I'll reel these. When I bring you back, I'll reel these in, obviously. Um, it's not a lot to show you around there. You know where I am. I'm fishing on a bank. And that's it. Because if I don't shout the area out I'm fishing in, it's because I don't want it shouted out. And everyone should respect that, really. You know, if you know where I am, you know where I am, don't you? Keep it to yourself. I don't, I don't want it all of them a comments. So, I'll bring you back when I come back. And, uh, it's freezing. I can't believe that. I was having bites on that and I ain't got nothing on it. Lucky bugger, bugger, bugger. that kind of we've got the camera still on yeah well might as well film me aren't they struggling here so cold It's so cold.
bit of squid on that to bait that worm up. The worm at the bottom's all right. Haven't been out too long. I know what you're going to say. Well then, you got to put fresh bait on, and I agree. But I've got some squid in that bag that I want to use. I like to tip off some with squid and then see what happens. But because I can always put fresh worms on and tip it, tip it with squid. Right. It is raining a bit. We shall have to watch this. It's not meant to rain until 12 o'clock. But it's raining. bit of rain eh? That's not good is it? That's not good. Yeah it is raining and all. So uh, yeah let's get the move back a touch. Uh, yeah we've got rain all over that. Look. There we go. I sorted that out. Uh, turn that off. Sorry about that. Amateur. Amateur. So, I might have to put my bottoms on because if I get wet trousers, I'm going to get cold. But I'd, that's going to entail me taking all my clothes off, emptying my pockets. Because I should have put the bloody salopettes on at the van, shouldn't I? <sighs> but it's not supposed to rain until midnight. And I thought you might get away with it, but obviously I haven't. Now, I had a crack and bite on that rod. I was on the phone to Andrew Jones and uh, I had to hang up on Andrew and I was having a knock 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 and I turned all my lights on and the rod was still knocking and nothing on it so we might have crabs out there we could have small fish out there um, but the good thing about it is is that's a little bit of action bit of action on the old rods so uh, yeah it's not a it's not a graveyard out there so hopefully we'll get some more fish and uh, hopefully we'll catch and yeah, I've got to put this here I've got to move this all back I'm gonna get sorted out and I'll come back because then I shan't be squeezed up right on top of you like this and I'll be actually have some room in there but uh yeah, why is it all wet in there has it rained and blown in it's not wet on this side it's bloody raining my cloth's gonna get wet now look at that fucking bloody cloth right see you in a bit Right, well, nothing on that. Still got bait on the hooks. Right, I'll get this baited up, put some more worms on. I've had to put my bottoms on because it started raining. So I've now got the full suit on now. I'll just give you a quick show, even though I'm meant to be fishing. So yeah. So now do I look like Postman Pat? I think they're fantastic. I'm so much warmer now I put the salopettes on. It's unbelievable. So yeah. So I've got salopettes on and my top on. Um, and I'm nice and warm now, so it's uh, quite, quite pleasurable now. Um, it was such, I'll talk to you in a minute. I've got to get this baited up. I'll be back in a minute. I'll get this baited up with two more worms. I'll chuck it out and have a quick chat. Right, so, 
yeah so I should have put my Salah pets on at the van when I first got here because it was raining it was going in half my shelter because I don't like facing my shelter inland I like looking out to sea and uh, the rain's blowing into my face so that wasn't a good idea but that's you know you put the shelter where you want it don't you but <clears throat> so yeah so then I had to take my coat off hoodie off jacket off get these on then I had to struggle getting this foot on and this was nigh on impossibility so I got it on in the end and my boot back on tucked them over and uh, yeah so got these on and then I had to put all my clothes on my hoodie as I pulled that off the arm, arms had gone inside out so that was a fucking nightmare it was uh, it was like a comedy of error and then I put my coat on and then it stops raining look but they do forecast rain at 11 o'clock and I do intend on being there then so now I am set up ready for it I've just got to velcro the bottoms up um, right. Uh, um, right like that oh and how about this leg oh Oh. Oh. Right, now I won't walk on them. I've had two bites, good bites, opposite small fish. But what do you do? I don't want to fish small hook, two smaller hooks. But then I don't want a blank either. But it's it's the way it is, isn't it? I've got a red hat, red gloves, red coat red trousers we're all going red they do this jacket and salopettes in blue as well ink blue it is but i didn't think it was stand out enough i like to stand out a bit on the beach and uh yeah this now i can tell you now that wearing this like this with the salopettes and the coat i am rather warm in fact I might have to turn the wife's jacket down because it's it's getting warm and then if you was to put the hood up and do this up as well you'd be absolutely roasty wouldn't you but oh let's get a fish eh need to catch a codling don't we um so yeah then i turned the shelter around so i've turned the shelter around probably oh i don't know about that much so now when the rain hits it shouldn't go inside at all so I might be able to move the box forward a bit but right, I'm gonna have to watch these rods it's half past nine sit rep sit rep half past nine high tides at half ten so uh, hopefully it'll all come on fire on the ebb over high water onto the ebb so so the next rod to come wind in next unless I get a bite which will determine whatever rod it is but the next rod to check is the right hand rod rod furthest away to you but yeah anyway we're here giving it a go aren't we and tell you what my hands are now not cold has it come has it warmed up i don't know but my hands feel warmer which is the first time tonight because my hands have been biting it's been that chilly i think it's a northeast north north northeast something like that wind um but yeah it's, it's all good it? at least i'm air fishing i'm out uh want to get some fishing sessions in the bank because uh i've just been told i've got another house coming up on the third or sixth of march well i'm gonna still go out fishing in whilst i'm doing this house but i've also got the daughter's house to carpet and put laminate down because she moves out on the 16th of March so from the 16th I'll be carpeting her house as well as doing this house for my uh, gaffer so it's all good quite excited really because I'll get me invoice in tomorrow hopefully get paid for November December and three days in January um, and then I can do the next house because I'll have some money yeah it's good so I've got some work on anyhow I don't want too much work that's why I've only got the one employer because uh, well the one gaffer that gives me the majority I call him a gaffer 
I'm the gaffer, but the bloke that gives him the work is ever so nice. He's um, giving me another house to do. That'll be a job and a half, I think. But there, that's not getting this done. I'm not watching the rods. I keep turning round, which is very rude. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, I'll see you in a bit and uh, I'll check these rods and we'll reel these in and let's be, hope we get a fish soon. Now, you know I caught a cod in the last video and the video before that, but the video before them two, that was the blanky video. Well, it weren't a blank, I caught a flounder, but we didn't catch them cod, did we? So uh, that was 13, 14, 15. So if I'd have caught in that one, I'd have done 15, wouldn't I? But these things don't happen all the time, do they? You know, don't always work out. But I've had a huge fun. It's been absolutely fantastic doing these uh, videos. And uh, there'll be a surprise coming up. You'll probably have, uh, it'll have probably happened actually by the time you watch this video but I'm not gonna say anything in this video because sometimes things don't go to plan. Thanks for everyone that's followed my sessions on this river. I know I've been at the same mark. I know it, in, you know, hasn't got all that excitement because I ain't in a different mark, but then I don't think it's that, that exciting, is it? You, you uh, watch these videos because you either like listening to me rattle on or you like the fishing or both, I don't know. I don't think you look at the place and say, oh, look where he is. Now, if I'm in a really nice place like Salton Bay or something, that might be a little bit more of an attraction. But, you know, fishing's fishing, isn't it? It's like any mark on that Holderness coast. It don't matter where you go, whether it's Easington, Kilnsey, Easington, Dimlington, Hompton, Tunstall, uh, Mappleton, Hornsey, Wivensey. You know, apart from a different backdrop, like cliff might be taller or short, or there might be some concrete ramparts there for sea defence. It's all the same anyhow, isn't it? It's irrelevant. It's, it's being there and creating a video, catching fish, or just having a marble. Do you know what I mean? And uh, having a good old rattle on. So, uh, yeah. So anyhow, I shan't be fishing there forever, but it's needs and must at the minute. Couldn't get onto the beach. I do want to fish the beaches at night time in winter. It don't really appeal to me. Um, and the beaches you've got to fish is Wivensey or Hornsey or Easington because they're easier to get down. And that ain't what I want to do. So uh, once we've finished there, I'll be on the beaches and then I'll come back here probably occasionally, see if I can catch that spring codlin. You never know, dear. There might be a big one in this. But there, I'm fishing. It's dark. You can't see where I am, really. Some lights over there, isn't there? But... Let's see what we get, shall we? Wish me luck, that's the main thing. Wish me luck because I've had a couple of rattles and them rattles have got to turn into a bite, haven't they, and hook itself. That's what I want, so I'll see you in a bit. There's uh, there's um, new bait missing. Bait's still on the hooks, so I'll put two fresh worms on. Not even the squid's been touched. So I'll put two fresh baits on and get this out. Well, I'll tell you what, it's warmed up. It's amazing. Now, I know it's warmed up because I'm dressed appropriately, but it's warmed up on my hands. My hands are warmed up.
Well, I've put that out short. Didn't mean to, it just did. <laughs> Can't lie. But it's gone out short. Probably a good thing, really. So, yeah. So, where are we at? Well, it's just gone 10 o'clock. We've got half an hour till high water. And, uh, we've got half hour till high water. And, uh, yeah, what else is it to say? I've had two bites and that's it. Tighten this up. Yep, two bites and that's it. So I am a lot warmer now since I put these salopettes on. I can't believe it. Because they wear these suits in Norway, but I can't see how they keep you warm in Norway. I mean, I have got a heated jacket on, um, but it's only on blue setting. So, because uh, sometimes the power bank runs out, but normally if you keep it on low and then when you start getting cold put it on green and then you can have it on red for when you go back to the van and then it runs out but I've got another power bank if it do but taking this off to take these off to get to the battery what a nightmare be a good idea to put a hole in the jacket the wife bought me so you can put the cable through to the outside pocket and put the um, battery pack in there that would be a good idea I might actually check to see if there's a hole already in it because they might have already thought of that, so I'll do that. Right, so you've just seen me, I've chucked out another one. I've got three yellowtails on the top book from the three cars. The last yellowtail still looked intact and all right. So we've got fresh baits out there anyhow. It's fresh light yellowtails on the hook and the rest of them have pushed up the line. So hopefully it'll have enough bait attraction for a codlin to come. Is this, could this be, yet again, another Codlin blank? And if it is, it don't look like I'm gonna get a flounder either. It could be my first blank for uh, 2023 and since September, since August 2022. Let's hope it in. A little four inch Codlin will do me, as long as it just keeps it going. I know the Cod run is gone, the challenge for 12 sessions is gone. But it would be nice to catch a fish, and it only seems as though there's coddling about. Anyhow, I'm going to watch these rods. I'm going to consider putting on some smaller hooks. But that's only as the session goes on. But the thing is, as it ebbs, you've got more chance of catching a fish. So do you to put small hooks on and risk? You know, you might pull out a dab or a flounder, mightn't you? But... You know, you might miss that cod, might you? Right, I'm going to reel this one in. The rod on the left actually moved, so we're going to see what happened. See what, see what happened. We'll check it out anyhow. There might be a fish still on it. Ain't moved again since. Get it done. Check the bait. Doesn't feel heavy, put it that way. Well, there was definitely a bite on that, it tugged it down. Um, what do you do? I've tipped this off with squid, this one. So I've got yellow tail with a tipped off with squid. We'll see what happens. Oh. It 
it's been good tonight, but it started getting tired now. I've had three bites tonight. Now, the last time this happened was when, which you're watching this Wednesday, is where the cod run finishes and I just catch a flounder. I think I had five or six bites that night and they were like this. And I've had two bites, three bites tonight where the rod's gone like this. Nothing on it. So, obviously my hooks are too big. There's small fish out there. But I don't want a small fish, do I? I want a codlin. So, I've got the same rigs, but new. They aren't the same rigs as 12 sessions ago. So I've got new rigs tied, sharp hooks, flappers. Yes, flapper rigs. Um, exactly the same as I've been fishing, pulling out cod. Now the cod run will end at some point. I'm sure there's somebody along here that's caught cod tonight, but it's not been me. We just have to wait and see. We'll just have to fish the tide out and hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll catch a codlin. That is what I'm going for. Could I fish for flounders? Well, technically I am fishing for flounders now because if there's a flounder out there that wants that, it'll swallow that hook because I've caught flounders on those hooks already this year. So, but the on the upside, I'm not cold. Um, the only problem I've got with this suit is there's no, uh, there's no hole at the front to get your old chap out. So if you need to go for a wee and you've got to get your old chap out, yeah, it's a little bit hard. Um, I've got no zip on the side of the coat to pull this up. So I've got to pull this up and then I've got to undo all, all my salopets, yank this down and then, well, it, it goes on because the leggings that I've got, they ain't got a zip in either. So it's going to be a little bit of a battle to have a wee. And then obviously, with all this hanging down there, you then got to wee over it, haven't you, before you wee in it. Good job, me old chap's long enough, that's all I'll say. I expect the wife's laughing now. Right, I'm gonna keep watching these. It's getting desperation now. It is probably half past 10. Let's have a quick check. 10.45. We are at slack water. It'll now start to go out, I reckon. So the tide will ebb out. Um, I don't think it'll be as quick as the last session because there's quite a large low water. So uh, when you get not such a big high water and a big low water, tide tends not to rush out so quick. I may be wrong, that's just how I've noticed when I've been fishing on different tides. So. I can't believe I've had three knocks on these rods and I haven't caught anything. But that'll be small fish having to go at the baits that I've got on there. Right, well, I shall get this rig that I've just brought in baited up with fresh bait. And I shall bring you back when I get another knock, hopefully, or I bring a rod in to change the bait. So, wish me luck because I am trying. It has been really cold there tonight, bitterly cold, but now it's warmed up. So I've got a bite there, look, look at that. Live on thing, look, can you see that? Don't know whether to leave it longer, see if it come back again. See, it's not doing anything now. Huge pull down that was. Let's tighten it up and see what happens.
That's now four bites I've had where the rod's gone down. Well, I'll bring you back if that develops. I'm not reeling it in. I'm not reeling it in. I shall reel it in in a minute. I'll check it in, f I'll give it three or four minutes, five at the most. Um, sit in my shelter, rest my hip, and then I shall reel it in. But I've had so many bites like that where it's lit, the rod's literally gone down. There could be a fish on it now and it's just sat there. It might be a small one, I don't know. I hope there is. But there's two hooks out there, so if there's any more fish out there, it should go on the other hook. Um, the fish could be swimming around still trying to eat it. It could have bit the worms up the snood and uh, not at where the hook is. So that anything could happen. But I keep reeling them in with bites like what I've just had and there's nothing on it. So I'll reel that in in a minute. I'll bring you back. There you go, look, there it go. Can you see it? Can you see it? Gotta be a fish on that. It's got to be a cod, ain't it? Might have come back, mightn't it? Cool, this is exciting stuff, this is. This is better than the prices, right, with Bruce Forside. It's not Bruce Forside, is it? It's Forsyth. But coming from Norfolk, we say Bruce Forside. Well, I do, anyhow. Rest of Norfolk might be more intelligent than me. But there is one thing about those people from Norfolk. We're all got web feet. We're all born in a bog. My hip is hurting. That's two bites now. There could be a fish on it, couldn't there? I'm still going to leave it for three or four minutes. I'll bring you back in a minute. See you in a bit. Right, I'm gonna reel this rod in. It hasn't moved again since, it's only been two minutes, but I need to reel it in and check the baits. Well, there's nothing on that. Absolute pain, that is. Yeah, I really thought there'd be summer on it. Yeah, not organised there, are they?
Them hooks are plenty small enough to hook a flounder. I don't know what's going on here. I had this the other week when I struggled. I don't understand this. The amount of bites I'm getting, I'm telling, I'm saying they're like this, and then it's coming up. It's unbelievable. Just not happening. They're just not hooking. So I've had a boat like that and I've left it, and I've had another boat like that on that rod that I've just reeled in. Nothing on it. Nothing on it. It is what it is, isn't it? It's, uh, I think I'm gonna cry. Well, we're in the witcher now, so if we're gonna catch a fish, it's gonna be shortly, so. But I had this on session 13, where I only caught the flounder and my cod run come to an end. And what a cod run that was, 12 sessions. Um, yeah, like I said, I had five or, at least five bites on that session and I thought I've got a fish, I've got a fish but I'm reeling them in now and they're light as anything so I ain't caught nothing or else you'd have seen it <laughs> what a thing to say it's nice to be out and I tell you as well it's warmed up, it has warmed up so and the battery I've got in now is now lasting whereas before it only lasted nine minutes but so I just have to keep watching these rods and hopefully I'll connect with a fish. Um, and I'll bring you back if I, if I do. Well, I'll certainly bring you back on the next reel in any Aaron cast. I'll get this rig here baited up with some fresh worms. Probably tip it with squid again. But yeah, I've just looked at them hooks and a flounder would swallow that. We'll see you in a bit. Wish me luck, I'm getting desperate. <laughs> Oh, is that recording? Oh, would you believe it? Have I got another boat? Right, I've had, I've had loads of bites and the battery went dead and I had like 50, 60% left in it. I've put that battery to one side, it's going in the fucking vice and hammer. And then I'm gonna bury it in the ground afterwards and write a letter to Greta and tell her what I've done. So that's that sorted. Then I forgot to put the bloody record on. It's on now. That's why I keep repeating myself. Have I ever got the tape reco recorder on? Tape recorder. Show me age now. Right, I'm now gonna bait this rig up. I've just cleared the worms. I've just reeled in, nothing on it. I've cast it out, it's gone to the right where I wanted it, but it's probably gone a bit far, but it don't matter. Um, lug and squid on. I'm now gonna, I've got a flipping air in my eye. Things are getting stressful. So, yeah, well, not a lot's happened. I've had, I've had a, quite a few bites and the rods tapped up and down more than once. And uh, you'd think you had something on there tugging it. And uh, yeah, really nothing. 
So I'm now going to bait this up with some worms. I'm going to make sure I switch this bloody GoPro on again. And uh, it's now got cold again. So there was that period where it was warm. Um, it does say on the weather it's going to rain in 30, 40 minutes. But it hasn't rained up to now. So what we're going to do is I'll bait this up. And uh, I'll bring you back when I reel in. And make sure I press record. Right, we'll get this reeled in. Um... Nothing's happened. Tide is good drifting away, and I want to keep the bait fresh to keep the scent out there. Just giving myself the best chance possible, really, but it's looking grim. Look at that. <laughs> I ain't bothered. I think that's great. There you go. One small little codlin. What an absolute booty. Let's check us filming. Right. Let's get that back. Look at its fins all up in the air. What's that about? 20 centimetres? Absolutely beautiful. You can see all through its fins, look, all its little veins. Right, let's get that back. Right. Very slippery down there. As a matter of fact, the tide's gone out further than I thought. But, look at that. One small little codlin. Live another day. That's gone. Absolutely fantastic. Ah, oh, I'll tell you what. Let's get this right. Oh, hang on, that was right. I'll tell you what, the thing is, this tide's gone down quite a lot. Uh, we're still all right. We ain't got long left though, have we? Oh, let's get this other cast out. But, hey. The thing is, is that I've caught a codlin. And that is a codlin, textbook codlin, tiny. 
And I said earlier on, I don't care what size it is. I really thought I was going to blank then. I've had 25 sessions since my last blank. This is either 25 or 26. Um, but that hasn't happened. I really thought I was going to blank tonight and I haven't. I've caught a fish and that fish was also a codlin. And for all those out there giggling and laughing and whatever, you have sessions that are hard work. I've had a four or five bites where that it's gone down and then it's come back and gone down again and you'd think there was a fish on there and I haven't had anything and I thought it was going to end tonight. Um, I know the cod run has finished because of session 13, let's not talk about that. But I just didn't want a blank. I just wanted to catch something and I have done. I've caught a fish and that was a codlin. Perfect in miniature, beautiful little fish and I've caught it. So let's get this rig done, changed over and get it back out quick. Thank God for that. Da, da, da. caught the fish best fish tonight as well can't believe it well both rods are going that way now so what i'll do is let's turn this down what we'll do is sorry about all that tom will edit that rubbish bit out absolutely fantastic oh i thought i was seriously gonna blank tonight i ain't fussed about what i catch as long as i don't blank I mean, it's fantastic when you're catching codlin. Caught another one. Yeah, it was little. Perhaps some of the smaller ones are moving out. Bigger ones are moving out. Um, I've been told it stops fishing in January. Late January. Well, we're late February now. I think next week. I think it's the 26th. 26th of February today. I'm not certain. Let's just double check. 27th of February. So it's Sunday the 27th of February, it's now gone midnight. So I've probably only got half an hour of fishing. Uh, so it looks like I'm gonna have some bloody worms left. I've gotta get some more salt water this week. But with those worms there, I might only need to get 10. Um, could get 10 worms and it's only a fiver. And go fishing again this week. Um, You've got the uh, you've got the UBC next week. This week is it this week or next week? Oh, I ain't interested in that. Make it catch and release, and I might be interested, but it is what it is. But um, I'm so chuffed tonight to have caught. I just didn't want a blank because uh, that that not blanking. 25 or 26 sessions. What it is? I think it's 25. I mean, that's another personal best, that is. Um, it's just been fantastic. You know, people keep saying this is the hard time of year. Well, it might now be getting hard at this mark. I've had a few sessions where I've had one fish and it's been like in the last session, I was fishing with John. Uh, it was great fishing with you, John, John Prepper. It was absolutely brilliant. It was nice to meet you and you're a cracking chap. So uh, yeah, I'll meet up with you again when you're back up there and we'll have another session. But I was fishing with John last week, last Sunday in fact, and John blanked and I caught one codlin. Um, John was on frozen baits and I had yellow tails, so that's probably the reason why. But I only caught the one. So it is getting a little bit more difficult. Um, but there is the big ones still out there. 
and there's plenty on the coast as well but like I say the conditions for me haven't been right on the coast so I'm not wasting my time driving all the way there to then get that dreaded blank what I thought I was getting tonight but no, that's great. I've caught the coddle and you saw it. It's a lovely little thing. No no fin rot, no nothing. Lovely. Hooked in the bottom of its mouth, perfect. Didn't feel as I had anything on it, but then why would it that size? Oh, I'm chuffed to bits. So, um, I'll probably bait that rig up that I've just brought in. Yeah, it'll probably be it, because the tide is going. Which is good, I suppose, really, because then I can then bring it to an end and I might actually get home a little bit earlier. But yeah, what a hard session it's been tonight. It's been uh, freezing at times, absolutely bitterly cold, and then it warmed up and then it got cold again. So, But since I've put my bib and brace on, or salopettes, whatever you want to call it, um, I've been a lot warmer unbelievably so so I uh, wish I'd put them on at the beginning right I'll see you in a bit hopefully I'll get another fish and uh, but we've caught there's no blank and it's a codlin so uh, what's that three on the trot now isn't it? since the blank you know session 13 let's not talk about that unlucky for some was for me so uh, yeah three more sessions on the bounce on the bounce, eh? What a word to say, on the bounce. Well, at least some of us can catch cod in this, uh, in this uh, river and uh, at, this, uh, at this venue. So yeah, <laughs> brilliant. I'm chuffed to bits. I'll see you in a bit when I reel the next one in. It's just one of them sessions tonight. It's been hard, very hard, but we've we've come up trumps, haven't we? We've come up trumps. So we'll get this cast out. I'm going to cast it out to the right. Sorry, I'm going to cast it to the left. Right. Well, that should hold in the tide upstream. That shouldn't go swinging round. 
So hopefully, put that one there. there so we've got one one to the left and one to the right so yeah let's hope we catch some on it see you in a bit Oh dear, that was heavy when I reeled it in. But it looks like it was just plastic. I shall pick it up before I go. Loads of, loads of weed around me spool but I'll clear that off when I get up tomorrow well today right let's just clear these rigs and then we better reel the other one in because the tide is the tide is ebbing away now and uh, soon we're not gonna have any water in front It'll be mud in front, and I, I don't like mud in front of me. Can't return the fish, can you? Well, it is harder at the beach because, uh, uh, at the river, because if I was at the beach now, I could keep fishing it down. Um, I could keep fishing it down, but there comes a point at the river where you have to say enough's enough. The thing is, I can see weed on that line out there now. So, we've got people walking down, the four people that walked down before. The four people that walked past uh, they walked miles down the river bank. They must be fitter than me. My hip, right. I'm doing more exercises now, sort of like stretchy exercises, and it's helping a lot. Um, it's not going to be a cure. The only cure is to have a flipping new hip. But, um, isn't it rubbish that my DNA from my mum and dad has, uh, enabled me to need a new hip but then you got my uh, my uh, other other half arsehole yeah I doubt if he's getting a new hip I expect he's still all right running around doing what he does life ain't fair is it you dealt the you dealt what you dealt and you have to deal with it don't you Right, well, 
it's been a hard session hasn't it absolutely hard um, not a lot happening I've had four five six bites uh, on one rod I had this and then about 30 seconds later I had this again so I suppose you could say it was six bites and nothing on the rods and then I catch the little tiny cobbler which I'm so grateful for because it's not a blank I've caught again and it's another cod coddling so I suppose I ought to reel this other rod in don't I and see what happens there's going to be weed on this right let's get this reeled in Yeah, so my hip don't hurt so much. My hip don't hurt so much tonight, but it's just stiff. Still limp. Right. Well, I've reeled that in, there's nothing on it. I'll uh, be back in a minute. I'm just gonna switch you off, take this rig off, and then I'll finish the video off. But yeah. Don't leave yet, I ain't finished. Right, well. Whew, I've really enjoyed this session. <laughs> you might not think it, but I have enjoyed it. Um, I've enjoyed the fact of just coming here, really. I do like it here. Like, I like all my venues, really. But, um, yeah, it's been great to put my salopettes on and to feel the warmth and the difference. Um, I just don't know how I'm going to get my old chap out to have a wee. So I've got to work that one out yet because this got to go up, that's got to go down. Then I've got to, might need a length of hose pipe or something. So uh, yeah, but there, that's something for me to sort out, isn't it? And for you to laugh if my leg's all wet. But yeah, we don't want to go into any toilet humour. So yeah, it's been great coming here. It's been great fishing. It's been very quiet. It's been um interesting let's say because it's not overly exciting but i've had quite a few bites and good bangs you know constants like this and then it stops and then it comes back again reeling really, i got nothing on it so yeah it was the same as when i had that session with the flounder and i didn't catch any cod you know session 13 let's not talk about it let's not talk about it so uh yeah, but I've really enjoyed it. It's been hard. I've fished worm all the time. I've tipped off with a bit of squid sometimes. I've still got five worms left. So I might have to just come out next week. Um, this week, sorry. And try and fathom out when or where. But um, I've really got to try and keep the worms alive. So I'll need to also get some more salt water for them. But that's for another story. Um, yeah, I had a lot of missed bites, a lot of bites that didn't connect with the hooks. Could have been biting in the snood, couldn't they, where the worms are. Um, and then we had the little tiny codlin, probably about 20 centimetres, but he might have been 22. But I don't care a damn. I caught a fish. It was a pristine little codlin. For next year, hopefully it'll be two pound. Um, if they grow that quick I don't know so it's been good it hasn't been a blank I've caught a codlin and I'm claiming that no matter if I don't even know what I'm going on about it I've caught a fish and it happened to be a codlin and I'm chuffed to bits um, the water has now gone nearly gone from the stones I probably could have left them rods out another five minutes ten minutes but then you're rushing and last time I got irritable and was cursing and said to the missus, I said, I think I fished too long again. So I feel really good. Um, I'm warm. 
Roasty toasty. The wife's jacket still got power. I'm on green level now, so it's on level two um, for heat. And absolutely fantastic. I don't even think I'll need the heated jacket when I've got the thermal top on from Reeds when I get the next size. Uh, no, I'm not telling you what size it is. Ladies don't tell, do they? Am I a lady? No, I'm not a lady, am I? I'm a man. Or am I a he? Or a them? Or a it? Or a that? I don't know. So complicated in these days, isn't it? Anyhow, I am rattling on now, aren't I? So what I'm going to say is, I've enjoyed this session, even though I've only caught a small codling. It's meant the world to me catching that. It's kept the blanks at bay, and I've caught another codling. So that's now free on the trot and I'm not going on to catch four and five and six because I'm hankering after getting on them beaches but um, you've got the EUBC this weekend coming so I ain't gonna get on then it's bloody waves are too high anyhow matter of fact I looked at the weather for Friday and Friday looked a good day for the uh, coast but I forgot that the EUBC is on so I ain't even gonna get a place unless I go late at night and fish at night time but it's a bit dodgy on them cliffs going up at night during winter when it's possibly cold and you're carrying so much gear as well summertime it's all right you can just go down there you've got minimum gear and it's better so this session it's been hard it's been exciting at times with all the bites getting up and reeling in and then disappointment and then i was rewarded with a small codlin it's fantastic my blanks are at bay and I am still catching, that's the main thing. And we caught a codlin, didn't we? So it's been great having you with me. Um, if you've got, got this far and you haven't subscribed, uh, please subscribe, ring the bell. If you don't want to and don't like it, but you still got this far, mm, don't understand that one, but thank you for the view anyhow. So this has been Vernon at the River Humber. It's been fantastic. We caught the fish. The, the uh, blanks are held up here, like I just said. I'm now rattling on again, but I'm now going. And the next time you see me, we'll probably be on this river again. But after that, hopefully, weather permitting, I'll be on the beach. Um, I could fish Lincolnshire Coast, but I don't want a blank. So uh, I might not go there. So, so that's it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you anon. Coming off with my fucking torch. Sorry about that. <laughs>